So now let's see how we can add in keyframes to our camera and then move up the frame. So to do that, I'm going to go around onto the camera selection uh, when you have this, as you can see. So here you can see that I have this frame right here. So let's say I want to uh, pan up this camera. So in order to add in a keyframe, I'm going to go on to, uh, let's say this position and add in the beginning keyframe. So to do that, when you are on the camera tool, you can go to the tool properties and then click on key F right here. So that is KF and press this and you can see it turns green. Similarly, you can go around onto the end right here. So let's say I'm going to go around onto this position and then I can add in an end keyframe right here. So you can see that there's a red line right here, which is uh, which denotes the end uh, camera key keyframe while the uh, uh, green right here denotes the beginning camera keyframe. So I can go around and drag this uh, to determine the starting frame right here and then go around and drag around or even uh, zoom in right here as you can see to determine the end uh, uh, keyframe right here. You can also go around right here and rotate the end keyframe. So this is how it looks as you can see. So if I were to go around onto the beginning and then if I were to go around and uh, let's say for example, uh, let, let's say for example, you can see that if you were to scrub, you can see that this is what you have. So let me just press the play button and you can see the camera movement right there. Press the play button and there you go. The camera uh, movement is there according to the green and red um, that I chose right here. We can go around, scrub it out to the center and let's say you want to add in um, an in-between position over here as well. In that case, you can press the KF button right here on the center, which adds in an in-between right here. And you can see the camera movement right here as well. So you can see that this is the beginning and it goes around over here, just like that. You can go around over here, add in another keyframe over here as well to add in a center position, drag it wherever you want, and then you can rotate that out as well. And there you go. There's another keyframe in the camera movement that you can see right there. So that is how you can add in keyframes for camera movements inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.